Okay, let's see one more example of things that you can do with particle systems. Uh, I want to create something more or less like THX, deep node, that kind of um, thing. So essentially I'm going to create a new particle group. I'm going to say that, okay, just change the colors. Let's create, for instance, uh, 40 particles. I'm going to pick up this drone sound that I use also in Doppler example. So the idea is to have several particles spread through space. I want each particle to have a random pitcher, a random pitch shifter that change the pitch, but I want all of them to converge to a single value. So I have the particles, I have the sound file, and I'm going to add this random pitch shifter with one octave of range. So essentially, between minus one octave and one octave, you're going to have several particles with different things. So if I render this, you can start listening to the, to the sound of it. So as you can see, you have all of these uh, pitch shifters. I'm going to, to cancel it. So essentially, you have all of this because of this randomness that happened over there. So essentially what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some automation because I want the pitch, the range of the pitch to change through time. So essentially you have this range of one octave, but you want this to be slightly decreasing. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of this in here. And now what I'm going to do is to to add some values, I would say that, okay, in zero, I want them to have a value of 12 semitones, but then probably uh, around, for instance, eight seconds, I want this to have a value of 0.1 semitone, okay? So essentially, as you can see, the, the computer will interpolate everything from 12, okay, and going to decrease slightly decrease the, the pitch shifters until in the end you have a pitch range of 0.1 semitones. Okay. Um, also, you can see the, 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 the line. So when you, the green line means that you have a keyframe over there. Okay. There is another keyframe here. I can jump to the next one. Okay. But when you see orange, it means that it's not actually uh, a real you don't have a keyframe, it's something, it's a value that is being interpolated. So let's render this and find out the result. Okay, so that's here. So imagine, for instance, that you, I'm going to cancel, imagine, for instance, that you actually don't uh, want this over here, you want this to be faster, so essentially you can uh, select and with shift drag things uh, to a different uh, uh, position and now render everything again. So. get all of this kind of uh, sound that we all know from THX kind of uh, things and and of course this is only stereo if you do this in surround the result will be much more interesting or eventually if you have access to a 9.1 facility with Dolby Atmos or something like that believe me this in Dolby Atmos is quite amazing and I hope you enjoy it.